Okay, it's June in the great subtropical state of California. Actually, it's June everywhere right now, no matter where you are. Unless uh, Einstein's theory of relativity is playing out on someone going away from the sun at light speed and then coming back, or I don't know exactly how that works. But anyway, it's June pretty much everywhere currently that I know of. And what does that mean to plant lovers, especially subtropical plant lovers? That means that the ground is going to be littered, littered with beautiful purple flowers from one of my favorite subtropical trees. And that is Jack, 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 Jacaranda. Look at this beautiful light that comes through. It's a beautiful ferny foliage. And uh, like I mentioned in this time of year, you get these beautiful, beautiful glowy flowers. And uh, it's such a soft feminine color. It's just so soothing and um, ebullient, maybe it would be a good word for it. Uh, and the humming of the, the, the bumblebees, absolutely love it. Look, it's going way in there, way in there, yeah, all the way down the throat. Look, they're everywhere. The bumblebees love these plants. Look up there. You see him? He's going to come out. There he comes. Yep. There he goes. So uh, the, the bumblebees love it. The people love it. Uh, you're probably wondering, well, that's too tropical. That's too tropical, Gary. I'm not going to be able to grow one of those in my garden. Um, and I'll say to you, come on, man. <laughs> so I am not down in La Jolla right now nor am I in uh, Palm Springs, nor am I in Altadena. I am in Concord, California. And uh, that is, uh, I'll prove it. Want me to prove it? Like, no, you can't grow that in Concord. Yeah, you can. I'll prove it. If I stand up on my trailer. Look, there she is. The very top of Mount Diablo above that house right there with a beautiful jacaranda right in front of the, right in the uh, shade of uh, the morning sun from. So uh, this is my client's house in Concord. It's off Landana, if you know where that is. And he planted this thing as a little twig some years ago. And now it grew up to be this re most remarkable tree. Jacaranda has this wonderful bark texture. Just a real nice, cool bark to it. Um, it's hardy to probably 25 degrees. This one has never been damaged here which is now giving us the confidence to plant these big giant king palms, which will be a separate video. And uh, we'll watch that at another time. I'll make a link to it on the bottom. But uh, Jacaranda is native to Argentina uh, and Southern Brazil, where it's a little bit cooler. It's not the super tropical Brazil that you think of, like in the Amazonian rainforest. It's south of there. So it's closer to the, uh, the Antarctic pole and so therefore it's attained some cold hardiness. Uh, sometimes these trees will do funny things. Sometimes they will just do nothing but grow beautiful foliage like as such and hardly bloom. Other times they will bloom like crazy and have very little foliage. And, uh, and sometimes they'll do in between. This one here is doing both. It's getting tons of flower bracts at the height of its bloom right now. It's probably mid June. Here. It's probably going to happen earlier in Southern California, uh, depending upon where you are. Uh, but um, yeah, it, uh, it's a great street tree. You know, it has really nice dappled shade. It doesn't have complete sun blockage, as you can see. So it's not too dark under the tree. So that's really nice. And if you plant a whole avenue of these things, like the whole street for like a mile, it's amazing. Yeah, it went. When these things bloom and the, and the flowers drop and the, the, all the streets turn purple, it's the most beautiful sight ever. I think it's actually even more beautiful when you get a tree that decides to go completely deciduous before it blooms. Then it's nothing but purple flowers. This tree is a really healthy, happy tree in the sense that it has lots of foliage and flowers at the same time. And so it... Uh, but when they're naked of foliage and they're blooming, there's nothing but purple on them. It is a sight 
to behold. Uh, so anyway, you can grow this tree as a single trunker. You can grow this tree as a uh, multi-trunk. It looks really good. You know, we don't often sell this tree, but I can get them anytime you want within a couple of weeks. And just keep that in mind. So another fun thing that I noticed back here, it almost looks like a Dalinix regia because of the ferny aspect of the foliage. If you know that plant, the flamboyant tree. And that, that one is just a little too tender to really reliably grow here. But some people keep playing with it. Uh, but look, John actually has a naturalizing seedling all on its own, which proves how, how happy these trees are to be in the shadows of Mount Diablo right here in the San Francisco Bay Area. In Northern California, I guess you'd call it the bottom of Northern California because Humboldt would be the top. So there you go. You want yourself some beautiful foliage, beautiful tree, uh, jacaranda. You give us a call, we'll get one in. We'll come on over and we will dig a hole. Maybe we'll have you dig the hole. That'd be even better. And then we'll plan it for you. All right. Have a great day. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe. Don't want to miss a single one. See ya.